Did you know ducks start eating each other just out of boredom? Or that Abraham Lincoln had a dream of his own assassination three times in a row? From the catacombs of Paris to the brain-eating amoeba, we've gathered 25 spine-tingling facts that'll challenge your perceptions, ignite your curiosity, and make you question the very nature of reality. I'm Mike with List25, and brace yourself as we descend into the bizarre, the unsettling, and the downright terrifying. 25. There are around 50 serial killers on the loose in the US right now. Well, prepare to start triple locking your doors because the FBI has reported some bone chilling serial killer numbers. Just how many serial killers are there on the loose in the US right now? Oh, if you're thinking between five and 10, one, you didn't listen to the title, and two, you're in for an unwelcome surprise. According to World Atlas, the FBI suspects there are between 25 and 50 active serial killers in the US at any given time and most haven't been caught. The FBI actually has an entire section dedicated to serial murder on its website, which notes, every day law enforcement officers across America are called to respond to murders. Each homicide case is tragic, but there are few cases more heartrending and more difficult to understand than serial murder. 24. There's an ancient book full of strange symbols no one can translate. It's called the Voynich Manuscript, and it's full of strange symbols, drawings, and letters. In 1912, rare books dealer Wilfred Voynich was looking through dusty chests of manuscript in Villa Mondragone, a Jesuit college just outside of Rome. As he explored, Voynich found, in his own words, an ugly duckling, a manuscript like no other. The drawings depict women, men, and what look like plants, but it needs to be clarified what they're doing. The writing looks like words, but it's not in any recognizable language. Some people think it's a textbook for midwives or a recipe book. Others think it's a spell book and some think it's a hoax. For years, people have tried to figure out what it says, but no one has. 23, Dracula is based on a real person. The famous vampire is actually based on a historical figure, Vlad Tepes or Vlad Dracula, who was a Romanian ruler in the 15th century who liked to stick his enemies on spikes. Unsurprisingly, his nickname was Vlad the Impaler. He was not a very lovely man. The Dracula in his original name means son of the dragon, Dracul being his dad's nickname, and refers to his fearsome reputation. He doesn't look much like our modern idea of a vampire though. He has a mustache and a big fancy hat. There are also no reports of him drinking any blood. 22. The golden poison dart frog is so poisonous it can kill you with one touch. They may look cute, but their skin is deadly. In fact, it's one of the most poisonous animals on Earth. Because the frogs are so tiny and delicate, they're vulnerable to predators, so their skin is poisonous. While only the size of a paperclip, this little froggy, which lives in South America, contains enough poison to kill up to 20 people. It's probably the most poisonous animal on Earth. It's so toxic that even touching it can be dangerous. Scientists are still determining how the poison is made, but some think it may be absorbed from plants eaten by the frog. 21. Serial killer Pedro Alonso Lopez was freed from prison. Would you believe that a South American serial killer responsible for over 400 murders was allowed to walk free? The Colombian serial killer Pedro Alonso Lopez, who was known as the Monster of the Andes, murdered and violated over 300 girls from Ecuador, Peru, and Colombia. However, after he was caught and imprisoned for 18 years, he was put in a psychiatric hospital. There, he was reviewed, declared to be sane, and was set free, in spite of his blatant promises that he fully intends to kill again. Since he was released in 1998, no one knows where he is or what he's doing. This year, Pedro would be 75, meaning that there's a good chance he's still alive. 20. Loch Ness isn't the only lake in the UK with a monster. The nearby Loch Mora is home to the Morag, another lake monster sighted many times over the years. Some people think that there may even be underground tunnels between the two lochs and that Nessie and Morag are the same. Loads of other lakes may contain monsters in the UK, including Muck Hellac of Loch Marie, also in Scotland, and the Ike of Bassenthwaite Lake in the Lake District, which is said to be a giant humanoid with a snake head. Oh, better not go for a dip around there. 19. There are tunnels full of skeletons underneath Paris. In 18th century Paris, the graveyards were getting full, leading to overcrowding and the spread of disease. The solution? Dig up all the old bones and store them in underground tunnels beneath the city. 
They're called the catacombs, and they house the bones of millions of people. The tunnels date back much longer to when they were used as underground quarries in medieval times. Many remains have been arranged in elaborate patterns and designs, and the tunnels stretch over a kilometer. On average, the catacombs get about half a million visitors every year. Do you plan on visiting them on your next vacation? 18. In 1872, a ship was discovered in the ocean with no passengers or crew. On November 7, 1872, the 282-ton Brigantine set sail from New York Harbor to Genoa, Italy. On board were the ship's captain, Benjamin S. Briggs, his wife, and their two-year-old daughter, along with eight crew members. Less than a month later, a passing British ship called De Gratia spotted the Mary Celeste at full sail and adrift about 400 miles east of the Azores. When people stepped aboard, they found no one there, and no sign of a struggle either. The ship was in good condition with no signs of damage except a bit of water at the bottom. What happened to the passengers on board? Where did they go? People have proposed many theories, including pirates, sea monsters, and even alien abduction, but it's never been solved. 17. The Tower of London is haunted by lots of ghosts. The Tower of London is nearly a thousand years old, and it's had plenty of time to build up an extensive roster of spooks. Spectral guests include the ghost of Anne Boleyn, wife of Henry VIII, Lady Jane Grey, the Nine Day Queen, and even a ghostly bear. There have been lots of grisly happenings in the tower, including murder, torture, beheadings, and more. So it's no wonder these ghosts feel like hanging around. It also used to have a zoo, which explains the bear. Have you ever seen one of these specters? 16. Brain-eating amoeba exist, and they live in our waters. The Nagleria fowleri, or brain-eating amoeba, lives in warm lakes, rivers, and untreated swimming pools. Another creepy fact about them? This brain-eating amoeba enters the body through the nose and then travels from there to the brain, where it feeds on your tissues. In very rare instances, people have gotten infections from recreational water that didn't have enough chlorine in it, such as pools, splash pads, or surf parks. Over 97% of infection cases are fatal. Only four people have survived out of 157 known infected individuals in the U.S. from 1962 to 2022. If you think brain-eating amoeba is crazy, when do you hear about our next fact? 15. There's a disease which turns your tissue into bones. There's a disease called fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva. When tissue is damaged, it's replaced with bone. Growths form underneath the skin, and then the joints lock solid. So over time, those affected slowly become encased in a prison of bone just beneath their own skin. They usually have to choose between sitting or standing up for the rest of their lives. By the end of their life, they have to drink every meal through a straw and can barely move. What makes this even creepier is that it's genetic. So there's nothing you can do to prevent it. 14. Abraham Lincoln had dreams of assassination before being assassinated. According to Abraham Lincoln's bodyguard, Crook, Lincoln had a dream about his own assassination three nights in a row before he was killed. In the dream, Lincoln asked a soldier standing guard, who is dead in the White House? The soldier replied, the president. He was killed by an assassin. Lincoln woke up at that point. Crook told Lincoln not to go on that fateful night, and all Lincoln said was, goodbye, Crook, before he went to the play. This was very odd, as Lincoln always said, good night, not goodbye. 13. Locked-in syndrome is a condition where you're conscious while in a coma. Being unable to speak is one thing, but suddenly being unable to speak and move is downright terrifying. This happens if you contract locked-in syndrome, or pseudocoma. A patient with locked-in syndrome is locked in a coma-like state. While they're conscious, their body is completely paralyzed. In this state, they can only move their eyes. Think of it as the opposite of sleep paralysis, but just as creepy. Locked-in syndrome is caused by damage to a specific part of your brainstem called the pons. There's also no cure or specific treatments for locked-in syndrome other than treating the cause, if possible. 12. Some trees can grow inside your lungs. Yeah, you heard that right. In Russia, doctors performed surgery on a man called Artyom Sidorkin, suspecting that he had a cancerous tumor in his lungs. Well, instead of a tumor, they found a 5-centimeter fir tree branch in his lung. Doctors believe that Sidorkin accidentally swallowed a fir bud, which grew into a branch. A similar case happened in Massachusetts when Ron Sweden suffered from a collapsed lung. After his family rushed him to the hospital, his doctors found a growing pea plant in his lung. Do you think he ever ate peas again after his surgery? 11. 
Even after decapitation, human heads stay conscious for a while. One horrifying fact about death is that life doesn't leave a severed head right away. For around 20 seconds, the human head remains conscious, but what the human head thinks about in its last moments is unknown. One famous example of this happening is when, in 1536, condemned English Queen Anne Boleyn knelt in a courtyard in front of an executioner's sword and awaited the final blow to her neck. After the swordsman struck, he presented the severed head for witnesses to see, but Anne wasn't quite ready to say goodbye. Onlookers later claimed that the Queen's lips were moving. 10. One in 50 people in the US has an unruptured brain aneurysm. That's around 6.5 million people with brain aneurysms that can rupture at any moment. Another horrifying fact about brain aneurysms is that it's fatal in 50% of cases, with 15% of deaths occurring before the victim even reaches the hospital. What is an unruptured brain aneurysm, you may be asking? Well, a brain aneurysm, also known as a cerebral or intracranial aneurysm, is a bulge or ballooning in a blood vessel in the brain. Experts think brain aneurysms form and grow because blood flowing through the blood vessel puts pressure on a weak area of the vessel wall. This can increase the size of the brain aneurysm. If it leaks or ruptures, it causes bleeding in the brain. 9. Postpartum psychosis can literally happen overnight. Although postpartum psychosis only occurs in around 0.1 to 0.2% of deliveries, this horrifying illness manifests within the first two weeks of motherhood. This means that a mother might feel the desire to kill their newborn as soon as they wake up from delivery. The word psychosis refers to a loss of sense of reality. If you have postpartum psychosis, you may see or hear things that are not there, feel everyone is against you, and experience powerful delusions. 8. CNN has a pre-recorded broadcast which they will premiere during the end of the world. CNN apparently has a secret tape that'll play once the world ends. CNN founder Ted Turner has reportedly said that the 24-hour news channel won't stop broadcasting, quote, until the world ends. According to reports, a CNN employee will play the video, appropriately named Turner Doomsday Video, when the end is near. An unnamed source leaked a copy of the supposed video to the news outlet, but the writer Michael Balaban claims he saw it for himself while he was an intern with CNN in 2009. Despite several times over the last few decades that people thought the end of the world was imminent, the clip has remained shelved. Thankfully, it is not a tape we'd like to see, to be honest. 7. Ducks become cannibals due to boredom. Although cannibalism can begin in ducks of any age, ducklings over four weeks old are more prone to develop this vice. The underlying reasons for birds turning to cannibalism are not known, but it's associated with boredom and is aggravated by overcrowding, lack of ventilation, and faulty nutrition. The only known way to stop it is to remove the rim at the front of the bird's upper bill. 6. The Uncanny Valley Effect the uncanny valley phenomenon can be described as an eerie or unsettling feeling that some people experience in response to not quite human figures like humanoid robots and lifelike computer generated characters. But have you ever wondered why we have a fear of something like this? The reason is actually really unsettling. If a biological trait is common in almost every human, then it evolved for a reason. Almost everybody has the same response to the uncanny valley, or in other words, we are made uncomfortable by things that look almost human, but not quite. This implies humans once had a reason to fear something that looked human, but wasn't. 5. Teratoma, or monstrous tumors, are evil twins that can grow in your brain. Yamini Karanam was 26 years old when doctors found a tumor on her brain. During the surgery, the doctor discovered that the brain tumor had bone, hair, and teeth. Another creepy fact about these monstrous tumors is that doctors believe them to be undeveloped twins who didn't survive in the womb, and thus latched onto the surviving baby. It happens to about 1 in 500,000 people, and can appear in newborns, children, or adults. 4. Pigs can eat anything, and that includes humans. One creepy fact that most people don't know about pigs is that there have been many records of farmers dying from being eaten by their pigs. The common occurrence is that while tending to them, the farmer encounters an accident in the pen, and the hogs eventually feast on the owner's body. In 2012, a farmer in Oregon was eaten by his pigs after having a heart attack and falling into their enclosure. By the time a concerned relative came looking for him, only his dentures were left. It's important to note that domestic pigs are typically non-violent and calm animals. However, in rare cases where pigs are poorly treated, feel threatened, or are hungry, they may be more inclined to eat a human if given the opportunity. 
Three, there's a cat that predicted 100 deaths. Meet Oscar the cat. In 2005, when Oscar was just six months old, he was adopted by a nursing home in the US to be raised as a therapy cat. However, he wasn't just any ordinary cat. The workers noticed something peculiar about him. This cat could predict the deaths of patients residing in the nursing home. The bizarre thing is that the residents that Oscar would cuddle with would usually die within hours. Initially, the staff didn't think much of it, but after it happened 20 times, they started to believe that Oscar knew when someone was close to passing away. Over the course of his life, he accurately predicted over 100 deaths. Some people call Oscar the angel of death, and others just an angel. Two, a mysterious source has been sending radio signals to Earth from space for decades. The researchers don't know what object is sending the radio waves towards Earth. The nature of them is such that they don't conform with any models that attempt to explain it. For 35 years, the source has been sending out regular 20-minute blasts of energy that vary considerably in their brightness. These detected radio waves often come from almost incomprehensibly distant galaxies, many light years away. To us, they're like whispers drifting through the wind. That's why astronomers must use behemoth antennas to find them. Where do you think they're from? Aliens? Or from a faraway civilization trying to warn us? 1. People can die with no discernible cause of death. Sudden arrhythmic death syndrome, or SADS, occurs when a person suddenly dies after a cardiac arrest with no discernible cause of death. Another detail about this creepy fact is that it usually happens during sleep. SADS usually happens when an abnormal heart rhythm, known as an arrhythmia, goes untreated and leads to cardiac arrest. An arrhythmia usually causes the heart to beat too fast, too slow, or irregularly. It's usually caused by a heart condition that affects the heart's electrical system. So, what are some other horrifying facts that sent shivers down your spine? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this list, eh, you'll love 25 extremely disturbing facts you probably don't know. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones. Links in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and as always, I'll see you next time.